Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table. And if you like to eat super tasty food with not a lot of work, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button because that's what we do here. And today we are making a make ahead meatloaf. Oh, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Um, so I'm gonna share with you three tips to make sure that your meatloaf comes out super tasty and moist every time. But before we get into that, go ahead and get your mise en place together. Just get everything in its place. It saves time, effort, frustration, everything. And your first tip is going to be make a glaze for your meatloaf. Whether you like it sweet or savory, doesn't matter. Uh, ours is a little on the sweet side and it does two things. One, which is especially important if you're gonna freeze it, it adds extra moisture. And the other thing it does, it gives it an extra flavor boost. Start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Then in a large bowl, add the ground beef, Lipton onion soup mix, eggs, cracker crumbs, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and milk. Okay, now for the fun part. It's super messy and I love doing this with the grandkids. My granddaughters love doing this where you get your hands messy. So after you have everything in your bowl, just go ahead and use your hands. It's the, one of the best tools in the kitchen and mix it all together. Now the second tip is about the breadcrumbs. You wanna make sure you use breadcrumbs because they act like little sponges. For one, they act as sponges and they just kind of soak up all the flavor. And then they also act as spacers. So it gives your meatloaf a great texture and it gives it some breathing room. So it doesn't get super dense. Okay, now come on over and we're gonna go ahead and just put our meatloaf in the pan, spread it out. And now we're ready to make the glaze. Now for the glaze. In a small bowl, whisk together ketchup, brown sugar, soy sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. Here's the third tip. Before you pour your glaze over your meatloaf, go ahead and poke it with holes. This is fun. I mean, this is a great job for kids to do too. I mean, shoot, I'm 50 and I still think this is fun. So this will allow the sauce to completely penetrate your meatloaf. Go ahead and pour your sauce, your glaze right over your meatloaf. Get it all out in these little holes. This will give it a super flavor boost and help it maintain moisture. Okay, now it's ready for the oven. So we're gonna bake this for about 55 minutes in our preheated oven that's been preheated to 350. And we're just gonna pop that puppy in there. And we are not gonna wait that long because I made this one earlier. And this one is ready to go. Uh, we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes because you want to let all the juices reabsorb into the meat. All right, this guy is ready to dig in. Oh, that was so good. What a nice balance. It's a little sweet, really savory. You're gonna love this. Now, whenever I make one of these meatloaves, I always make at least two. One to eat right away and one to freeze. So if you're making one to freeze, go ahead and bake it in one of these little disposable tins and then wrap it in tin foil, label it, date it, and then stick it in your freezer and it'll last for three to four months. And then when you're ready for a quick dinner, just pop this straight from the freezer into the oven at 350 until it's heated all the way through. About a half hour to an hour, depending on what size you're using. And that's it. I mean, it is so easy and this is so good. So I can't wait for you to try this. Let me know what you think and stick around for some more videos and I will see you soon. Bye guys. This is so